Hello students, welcome back to your channel. In this video, we are going to understand the exact reason behind digestion. Yes, you all know that digestion is a process in which the complex food particles breaks into simpler and soluble form so that it can easily get absorbed in our body and can perform all the functions smoothly. But in today's video, we are going to understand the reason and that reason is digestive enzyme. See, in our body, there are many digestive enzymes and where they, do they come from? They come from or get secreted from some special glands are called digestive glands. So in our body, there are many digestive glands. Also, the many type of digestive enzymes get secreted from there. So they all have their special functions. Means they all do special type of digestion or the digestion of special nutrients or fixed nutrients. So in today's video, we are going to understand the name of those digestive glands and the enzymes they secrete, also the role they perform. So stay tuned and let's start. Okay students, so let's start. So we are going to start first with the salivary glands. Okay, see, this is the picture here. You can see easily salivary gland is situated somehow in this area of your face, like uh, inside your buckle. As we know, this is the part of our buccal cavity. In our buccal cavity, teeth, tongue and salivary glands. These are the major parts, right? So in this salivary gland, as the name suggests, it is salivary gland. Obviously, the enzyme will be uh, mixed in your saliva. See, what happens, I am giving you one incident that what happens when you eat chapati. Chapati has like carbohydrate or starch rich food. So when you eat it or chew it for a long time, uh, later you start uh, uh, like getting a sweet taste, right? Why is that so? That is because this amylase starts acting on your starch and makes it digested. Yes, we all know that digestion starts uh, in your mouth only, right? So this amylase has the role in the digestion of starch and making it into sugar molecules. Okay, then there is one again uh, more uh, like enzyme that is lysozyme. This lysozyme has the role to make your food, uh, means food lubricated and also germs free. Okay, this is the simple role for them. See, we also have to understand the saliva is made up of, that is the components of saliva. See, your saliva is 99% water. Okay, then rest of the parts are protein, enzymes and also mucus. We all know mucus has a special role and here we will uh, like make it more clear. Mucus makes your food uh, lubricated. Okay, now see the next gland is gastric gland. Okay, now see this gastric gland is inside your stomach. Obviously, stomach is an organ, J-shaped organ, not a gland. But inside it, there are gastric glands which secrete, see, which secrete proenzyme pepsinogen. Okay, but we have to also understand that in the stomach there are the secretion of HCl and mucus too. These are not enzymes, but what are their role? That is also important to understand. So HCl has the role to make your medium acidic. Now why? Because this pepsinogen can only get become or uh, breaks or gets activated and become pepsin when the medium is acidic, right? And now this HCl makes the medium acidic uh, so that the pepsinogen uh, can work properly and then the mucus see once your SCL like your stomach uh, has a acidic medium right so what will happen it can cause severe acid burn uh, in your stomach walls so to protect these walls uh, this mucus uh, has their role okay so um, also pepsinogen like uh, it becomes pepsin once it is activated in the presence of SCL then it breaks down or gets uh, proteins digestion done okay Next is mucus, I have, we, I have explained it earlier that mucus has a ro no role in digestion means exactly it is not a, uh, a, any digestive enzyme but it is only for protecting the inner lining of the stomach, okay. Then we have a special enzyme that is called renin, okay. This is for the digestion of milk protein, especially in infant, okay. For, this is for the digestion of milk protein. Now one thing you can get confused with that there is a lactase, okay. Lact uh, lactose or lo uh, lactase, this both enzyme is for milk protein only, but they are not for milk protein, they are for milk sugar, okay, they are also for milk, but they are uh, just to break the milk sugar, in milk there is protein also, so th for their digestion, renin is the enzyme which is responsible, okay, let's move to the next 
gland and this next gland is the liver see understand the fact that liver is the largest gland of our body right liver is the largest gland of our body and what is its weight it weighs is uh, 1.2 to 1.5 kg okay next is what are their secretions see in this uh, uh, liver gland there is a bile duct okay and through this duct there is a gall bladder and in this gall bladder bile juice gets conducted and through which uh, there are bile duct through which it comes to your uh, intestine okay so what happens in this bile juice and it activates the lipase okay lipase is for the digestion of fats this is the di for the digestion of fats so bile juice okay bile juice also is not the enzyme bile juice is a juice which activates lipase enzyme okay now uh, the function of this lipase will be to convert fat into fatty acid fat in fats into fatty acid and it gets stored in gall bladder okay now let's understand the composition of this bile juice it has 95% of water 0.7% of bile salts 0.2% of bilirubin and 0.51% of fats okay so this is the whole uh, composition of this bile juice i hope it is very easy and understandable you must know down this so that it will be very easy for you to uh, like uh, go further okay next is a beautiful this is very beautiful gland and called pancreas see first of all so pancreas can secrete hormone and digestive enzymes both so it performs both kind of glands okay like it can perform like both kind of glands so name of uh, gland is pancreas its secretion is insulin hormone okay insulin hormone pancreatic juices now this insulin hormone as i told you it it secretes hormone too right but not rest of the digestive glands they secrete only di uh, like um, uh, digestive juices they uh, secrete only enzymes and they secrete hormones too okay now it where exactly is it where exactly it is it is exactly beside your stomach okay beside your stomach i hope it is very easy for you to understand because you must have seen this pancreas earlier okay now three digestive enzymes of pancreas see as i told you by pancreatic juices but in this pancreas pancreatic juices what are the enzymes first enzyme is again that special amylase okay obviously it is uh, to uh, it is to perform the digestion of starch or carbohydrates then there is trypsin okay trypsin is for the digestion of uh, proteins like pepsin lipase it is the uh, this enzyme lipase breaks down the emulsified fats okay so understood in this pancreatic juices what are the enzymes amylase then there is trypsin and lipase i hope it is very clear to you okay students so these were the digestive glands and the enzymes secreted from so i hope you like this video if you like it hit the like button share it with your friend and also subscribe to our channel milagru let's meet with another interesting topic till then bye bye